it won't take a lot of talk and it's just actually going to be a quick demonstration of the product so you guys can see and then once you're able to see it uh we're going to be open for some hey uh that way you know questions concerns anything you, you guys have, things you want to know in reference to what it is uh that we offer and uh, you know this uh, collaboration is going to be very lucrative our goal just so you guys know in like, chicago is uh we want to do five uh we're looking to do one billion dollars per year within the next five years well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick demonstration of the product so you guys can see that part uh, first. And then we'll go in real briefly to the technology. So literally, I'm going to be about three to five minutes on what I'm going to do. And then you guys will be able to question, Q&A, everything. When I first saw this to everybody that's looking, um, and I saw that these gentlemen was presenting a presentation to me with a sanitary napkin, I, I almost laughed and I got up and almost walked out of the meeting. But thank, thank God that I'm an open guy and I stood and I watched what these guys showed me in terms of this demonstration. First thing I want you ladies to notice is how thin the pad is. That's very key um, that you guys see how thin it is. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a demonstration here of the power of this product and what we have and the new technology that's in it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a beaker right here because we found out from our medical advisory board that the average female, when they're on their cycle, they give off anywhere from 15 to 50 milliliters throughout the day. Now we already know uh, some, some women are more, some are less because of the fact that they have a heavier flow than others. So I'm gonna take these 50 milliliters here and I'm gonna pour it onto the pad right in front of everyone. And we know by now, a female probably would have changed by now because that's a lot of fluid to go in at one time. But one of the main issues uh, that many people don't know that's taking place, let me just pull it up a little bit as I go back to the pad, that many of our wives, our daughters, our nieces, our grandchildren are dealing with is the fact that they're wet throughout the day. That plays a big part because your body by nature is 98.6 degrees, so your body's always running hot. And then when you take the fat of you have moisture, you have bacteria, you basically have a recipe for disaster now. So now these are, this is leading to things like urinary tract infections, yeast infections, and in some cases, even cervical cancer and ovarian cancer. Uh, we had a doctor that spoke at an event uh, that I did last night in Atlanta, uh, Dr. Tyrone Malloy, He's an OBGYN surgeon. And this man was just speaking on how uh, the, the chemicals and the sanitary napkins and tampons has been leading to damaging effect of these women. And that's why he's so excited to be partnering and collaborating with us on this joint effort because he'd been watching, especially our African American women be destroyed from what's being put into these sanitary napkins and tampons. Uh, we're gonna have four variations of the product. We're going to have a day pad, a night pad, an overnight, and a, uh, a panty liner with the technology that you guys are about to see. Now, what I'm going to do is I just pour 50 milliliters on the pad. I'm going to take a red napkin because since we we're on camera, so you guys would be able to see this. And I'm going to actually press on the napkin, put some pressure so you can see that pressure is being applied at the point 50 milliliters on the pad. And you ready for this? Nothing. We don't have a drop on the napkin at all. When I saw that, guys, I was blown away. I automatically knew a game changer because I knew I have a wife and three daughters um, that's at their, this phase in their lives. And I said to myself, if we can do something to keep women comfortable and dry during that time of month, you have a product that they're gonna buy residually uh, for the next 30, 40 years of their lives as their cycles are happening. But I got more to show you before we wrap up. I'm gonna take this cup of water here. I'm gonna halfway fill it. Now keep in mind, I just took 50 milliliters of water and put it into the pad. But I'm gonna take the absorbency system that's inside the product here. And 
As you ladies can tell, I've become a pet professional at tearing these pads apart now. <laughs> I'm going to take the interior of the absorbency system and I'm going to place it right here inside of the, of the pad, inside of, I'm sorry, the water right here, right in front of our eyes. I want, it, I want you guys to see this. I'm going to drop it in. The one thing that I want you guys to gather is this. I want you to see if you guys can really see that the exterior of our absorbency system, it has holes in it. That's by design. Also, the exterior of our absorbency system, it also has microfiber holes. Now, the reason why it has these microfiber holes because we don't want the female's body taking the brunt of all the bacteria and everything. So we've created a system of ventilation. So it's constantly airflow throughout that process. If you look at a sanitary napkin right now that your daughter, your granddaughter, or even you may be using, if you look at it, the outer covering is like a trash bag. There is no ventilation, no breathability, which means that the woman's body suffers the brunt of everything that's being thrown at it. Now, I just poured 50 milliliters on the pad, right? I just took a cup that was halfway full and it's totally absorbed. Every drop of water wow. that was in it, we've literally taken a liquid and we turned it to a gel. Wow. And if you guys were here right now with me, you would be able to touch it and see that it's also cool. The cooling effect is because we found out, Brother Barry, that while young ladies and women are on their cycles, their body is running hotter than normal. So now the absorbency system also has a cooling effect for their body. Now I want you to see this. Before I close, I just told you guys, for everybody that came late, the new strip that's going to be infused into our product is called graphene. The gentleman who discovered graphene, he won the Nobel Prize. He won the Nobel Prize in 2010, the guy that won graphene. This right here is the graphene strip that's going to be infused into our new product. Guys, graphene is a 99.9% .9 bacteria killer. Bacteria and graphene can't coexist. Graphene helps women with hormone secretion, their metabolism, it helps with fatigue. It helps relieve stress. It helps with skin and mem membrane repair. It has so many benefits, it's mind blowing. Right now the medical community is calling graphene the next medical revolution. But graphene, the main component of graphene, it contains what's called vibrational energy. It's always alive. You know, right now as you can see, I'm touching this and I'm not being electrocuted because immediately what everybody's about to see, they assume electricity. I'm going to take a seven watt light bulb. This is a low wattage light bulb, guys. Anywhere this light bulb senses energy, it would illuminate. It's not like a 40 watt or a 60 watt light bulb that would normally be in your house that you cut your lights on with. Here's our strip right here. But what I want you to see right here with graphene, this is what it does. Wow. This is what graphene does, and this is the strip that's going to be infused inside our pads. It's going to change lives. Guys, I want you to hear what I'm telling you. We're currently, right now, we're living in the future. What I'm saying and sharing is we got a residual product that women are going to use. The last company that I co-founded with this similar technology and my wife and I were investors in, we did $8 million in two years with a $5 product. Now we've improved the product and taken it to another level because of the things we knew that was wrong with the first product to do what we're doing now. We're about to change the world and we're going to do it one woman at a time.